It is the weekend, and chances are with the temperatures heading into the 80s, very nice, as Wes just mentioned. A lot of you may be planning some outdoor excursions on the water. Safety should always be top of mind. CBS 17's Nick Sturdivant is live for us tonight in Raleigh. And Nick, you spent some time at Falls Lake this evening. How were things out there? Rod, it was definitely busy, and I got a chance to speak with one of the park superintendents out there. She's expecting it to be busy this weekend, but before you head out to the lakes and the parks, there's some things you should keep in mind. Robert Covington calls this his safe haven. It feels great, man. The most relaxing place you can ever be. He spent Friday evening here on Falls Lake on his kayak. First time he's done this in more than a year. I don't have three PT scans, two CT scans. I did 12 weeks of chemo and radiation. The cancer survivor is happy, but also careful. Well, you always wear your life vest. That's the most important thing. I try not to be too close to boats. Don Taylor and her family rented a boat Friday, also keeping safety in mind. Everyone had a life vest while we were on the water the whole time. So last year at Falls Lake, um, we were the third most visited state park uh, for 2021. We had almost 1.5 million visitors, and that was a huge increase in our visitation. Crystal Lloyd, who is a park superintendent at Falls Lake, expects the trails, campsites, and lakes to be busy, especially this weekend with the summer-like weather. She says it's important to make sure you're hydrated, sober behind the wheel of a boat, and wearing your life jacket in the water and on the boat. We're the ones that have to recover the body, then we're the ones that have to go tell the family. Um, and we've had a lot of drownings in the last few years with the increased visitation. Um, so it's, it takes a toll on, on park staff here. With precautions in mind, Don hopes this can be a safe haven for a family too. Just really trying to spend time with family because yeah, we've missed out on a lot the last couple of years for sure. And keep in mind, parking is expected to fill up pretty quick. Now, if you don't have a life jacket, there are free ones at the designated swimming areas. Live in Raleigh tonight, Nick Sturdivant, CBS 17 News. All right, Nick, thank you very much. We're